Blackstar offered to send me this amp to review. I kindly refused. Why? Because I want to buy the gear that I review so I can give an honest review. This is the brand spanking new Blackstar ID Core 10 version 3. Hello and welcome to another video with me Elmo J. Karjalan and it's good to have you along. Today we're taking a look at the brand spanking new Blackstar ID Core 10. This is version 3. This is what Blackstar claimed to be the best sounding entry level amp in the world or the whole ID Core range. And it's been updated with version 3. So what's new in version 3? Let me read you what Blackstar says. It's easier this way. Live streaming using a TRRS 3.5 millimeter cable for input output, blah, blah, blah. So you can live stream by connecting this to your phone. Uh, it has a cab rig light, which uh, is their next generation cab simulation. Uh, where you can control cabs, mics and rooms and all that kind of stuff. And then it has free architect software for deep editing and patch sharing online. And of course it has super wide stereo. Now I've reviewed uh, the version 2 of this earlier and that also had super wide stereo but the effects have been redesigned in this one. And it has a handle, recessed handle on the back for easy carrying. So that's what's new in version 3 compared to version 2. Now, uh, first of all, the TRRS cable um, didn't come included in the package, so I won't be able to try that feature out. What I will try is how this thing sounds, because all of that is absolutely meaningless without, or if it sounds bad, you can... You can stream to your heart's content if it sounds like horse droppings. You won't. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> Before I get going, I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review. And uh, I do that partly with the help of the good people who support me on Patreon. Uh, thank you to you people. If you want to uh, join me on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get all of my music. You get a bunch of exclusives. You get... Uh, access to my guitar academy uh, and you can check it out and if you don't like it you can just opt out at any point like i said link in the description now let's check out the blackstar id core version 3. okay so uh it has the familiar if you're familiar with the id core <coughs> series it has the familiar amp voicings uh from the previous models um clean uh warm and bright it's two cleans Two crunches, crunch and super crunch, and OD1 and OD2. It has a gain and a volume, and then it has the ISF e EQ. Yes, EQ, not IQ. <laughs> uh, it has an effect section, tap tempo. So it has a rotary switch where you select the type, and, uh, and three buttons for the separate uh, effect types. So, um, by the way, I need to mic it up. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, so I'm using just one microphone to, uh, so it's in mono, so you won't uh, get the super wide stereo thing. But anyway, super wide stereo thing, pff, the speakers are this far apart, basically, which means that you would have to be kind of somewhere over there where my thumb is to get an actual kind of stereo image. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. You'll get this in mono, but I'll say if I think it's impressive in stereo or not. Uh, let's open level. We're starting with clean warm, uh, a bit of gain and a bit of level, both at nine o'clock. Very quiet. Uh, let's open level a bit more and gain as well. Thank you. 
now I have EQ on zero. Let's turn that all the way the other way and see what it sounds like. Let's go halfway with the EQ. Okay, I think I preferred it all the way at zero. It's not a, tra a traditional kind of EQ where you get more top end. Uh, the further along you go, it's voiced uh, British and American style. Um, that's what their ISF thing does, which is an interesting feature. It's had a bit of gain. Even more gain. Okay, so one thing I have here is uh, an overdrive pedal. I have the Strymon Riverside, which, yes, it costs more than this, but you can use any old cheap overdrive, whatever you have lying around. Let's see what it thinks of an overdrive. <laughs> keeps going bing. Okay, so let's try it without the overdrive. Let's add some reverb. Okay, so you get four different types of reverb. Uh, here's type number one. Two. Sounds a bit all E, not sure. <sighs> that sounds a bit endless. Tweaking uh, the effects would be something for the deep editor thing. I'm not going to try that because th that will just take forever this video, but you'll get the general idea of the sounds anyway. So added delay. Okay, uh, let's ditch the effects for now and 
Now let's see what the modulation sounds like. And we have that and sounds a bit seasick. Not entirely the right effect. Okay, uh, let's go through the different sounds or the amp types. So this is clean bright, uh, let's drop gain a bit. Seems I still have modulation on, let's ditch that. So far it's sounding good. The warm is warm and the bright is bright. So I'm gonna try it with a different guitar as well. A humbucking guitar. Let's see what the crunches are like. Let's drop uh, gain. Bit of overdrive. Uh, the other crunch, this was crunch, now super crunch. Try the ISF the other way. Add overdrive. EQ back the other way. Let's add delay because I like delay. Why do I have so much? I don't think it likes the overdrive too much. Um, let's go to, let's just add gain from the amp itself. Let's go 
to OD1. out gain uh, EQ halfway Last uh, the OD2. EQ all the way up. Add all the way down. Let me just quickly swap guitars. Okay, same thing. Let's drop gain a bit. Bit of overdrive from the pedal. is out of tune. Let's go back to the crunch, is the crunch one.
Okay, so what do I think? Well, um, positives first. Cleans were nice. It's very affordable. It has a bunch of features. It's light. It has a tuner. <laughs> and uh, it has a handle on the back. It looks nice. That's... I mean... I'm really struggling for the positives here. The super wide stereo effects. Let's start with those. That's one of the selling points. Remember it says it says on the box stereo wide stereo. They say it twice just on the front. Super wide stereo. Was it super wide stereo? No. But then again, I'm sitting next to the amp, which is actually completely the wrong place to hear if it's stereo or not. But then again, the speakers are roughly this far from each other, which means you would have to be roughly there, the, roughly there, to hear the stereo properly, get the stereo image. But that's not the real problem. I mean, it has effects and they sound up, yeah. Okay, I mean, it's an entry-level amp, what do you expect? But the crunches and the overdriven sounds... I mean, the deep editor software will have to be a miracle worker to actually... so that you could actually tweak this to sound good. I'm doubting it'll even do decent, because these sound... In, to me, this is subjective, I know, so sue me if you want to. But to me, they sounded terrible. I absolutely hated it. And they say it's the best sounding entry level amp out there. And I couldn't disagree more. It's not the worst sounding amp I've tried. <laughs> now, someone might think I have something against Blackstar. I have nothing against Blackstar. Uh, and I'm actually kind of sorry to say this because they were kind enough to actually offer to send me one. But that's why I buy the gear that I review, because I want to help you people who are watching these videos make an informed decision. Uh, I won't do anything in post-production, EQ, anything, try to fix any stuff, any of that. I won't say I like something that I don't like. It kind of makes me feel bad, but I don't like it. It, and it has nothing to do with the brand or anything, it's just that I don't like it. Now someone will ask, what do you recommend instead? And I will actually recommend something by this very company. The Blackstar Fly 3, I think it is, the really small one, which I think is way better than this. It has less features, but it sounds way better. I'd even recommend version 2 over this, because I think that sounded better. I don't know why, it might be that my memory is playing tricks with me, I think that sounded better than version 3. What else can I recommend? Roland Microcube, Roland Cube 10 GX, which is I think roughly the same price, Harley Benton Tube 5 or Tube 15 if you want to throw in a bit of extra money, almost double the price, Boss Katana Mini, Boss Katana again if you want to throw in some extra money, the new X Mini Mighty Mini Light BT, whatever it was called, the small thing, is also way better than this, in my opinion. Yeah, that's it. I cannot recommend this amp. It is better than the Marshall Code. I like it more than the Fender Champion 50 XL, which had some comedy gold stuff in it. But still, I think it was terrible. You can stream, you can DI, you can do whatever with this, but if it sounds like that, no. No way. Not for me. Uh, if it is for you, and I really mean this, if you like it, that's great. I don't. If you want to watch more of my gear reviews or amp reviews, there's a playlist here somewhere. Uh, there's a playlist with some of my music as well, if you want to check that out. Uh, 
hope you liked the video, click like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell notification thing, join me on Patreon because you get a bunch of exclusives, uh, all my music, access to my Guitar Academy, there's a link in the description, and yeah, comment, let me know what you thought and what you might recommend instead of this, thank you, I hope to see you in another one, take care, bye!